Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Drag Chat. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Z. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, girl? I'm doing just fine. How about you? I'm doing perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we go again with another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> All about Hello Kitty. Yay! Which explains why I look the way that I do. <laughs> sorry about it. Not sorry about it. Oh, well. <laughs> well, this was a fun episode. There was a lot that happened, you know, with work of Chit Chat and the mini challenge and two runways. So... Let's just dive right in, all right? Did you find anything interesting in the workroom this week, Rosemary? Yes, I did. Um, I found it interesting, the conversation that Ginger had with Violet Chachki, um, where she was telling Violet, uh, don't rest on your laurels, because Violet apparently has never had to lip sync, and Ginger apparently is starting to feel the heat. I think Ginger's starting to uh, unravel a little bit, you know, and uh -huh. I love Ginger. I hope she makes it all the way to the end, but I think she's starting to feel the heat now. Yeah, I think so, too. Well, she's been in the bottom, too, a few times now, so, yeah, I think she is, too. You know, it might also have to do with the fact that, you know, as I've told you before, she's a big pageant queen, and she's won a lot of competitions, so I think she's kind of used to winning things. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's something to do with it. Yeah. The other thing that, yeah. you know, in the workroom this week, the only other thing that I saw was, uh, you know, Katya self-destructing. Yes. You know, freaking out about her costumes and the challenges and everything. And it's like she was losing her confidence this week. That's a shame, too, because she's such a, you know, well-rounded queen. I wish mm -hmm. she had more confidence in herself. She's beautiful. I mean, I don't understand, you know, where that lack of confidence is coming from. But, you know, let's see what happens. Everybody loves puppets. <laughs> <laughs> In the mini challenge, everybody had to reach into that dark hall and pick out a puppet and then decorate them to look like the queen that they chose. <laughs> First up, we had Katya with the ginger puppet. Then we had Ginger with the Violet Puppet. Then we had Pearl with the Kennedy Puppet. And we had Kennedy with the Pearl Puppet. And then we had Violet with the Katya Puppet. The winner ended up being Ginger with the Violet Puppet. What did you think about this challenge? Did you have any fun with it? And uh, what do you think about the winner? I, I loved it. I love the challenge because I love the reads <laughs> in puppet form, <laughs> especially, you know, some of like uh, Pearl said uh, uh, with the Kennedy puppet, he threw me into the embers where I rose like a phoenix <laughs> when he was making fun of when Kennedy came out like with that chicken outfit or whatever, whatever the heck it was that she wore that time. I mean, some of the one-liners were like perfect. Um, uh -huh. uh, Ginger regarding Chachki, uh, Violet Chachki, she said... Uh, what is pretty and and uh, and worthless? <laughs> a tchotchke? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, some of them are really good. They were very, very, very creative. So yeah, I, I agree that uh, Ginger should have won that one. I thought they uh, they were all pretty good too. Katya, I thought was hysterical, but we knew she would be. Yeah. You know, especially when she was she threw in that southern accent talking about Gatorland, and you know, it, it just cracked me up. Ginger was hysterical, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I would have given it to either one of them. It was a toss-up, you know, for me between the two. But I think the highlight of the whole thing was Pearl's decoration of the Kennedy doll and imitating that long, drawn-out explanation as to what the fuck she was and Violet coming back and saying, you know, about uh, stressed-out Tony the Tiger again. <laughs> I, I think as far as oh the makeup God. went, she hers was the best, you know. Looking, you know, she really nailed that character that uh, Kennedy brought out. Character, what a character that was! One that will never <laughs> be forgotten. That's for sure. <laughs> that was a very good one. It was a very good one. <laughs> I thought it was funny when uh, Violet brought out Katya's puppet, and Katya goes, "That looks just like me." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, funny. It was a good challenge. I love that challenge. 
Well, after that, RuPaul announced a special guest, and in through the door, who would walk? The billionaire herself, Hello Kitty. And Ru told everybody they had to take all this Hello Kitty merchandise and make Hello Kitty Couture, or Hello Kitty Eleganza. <laughs> but before they got done freaking out on that, RuPaul threw in another little twist and said they had to make up themselves as a Hello Kitty best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so they had two runway challenges, so let's zip over to the runway. But we all know who comes out first on that runway, and that's the queen herself, Miss RuPaul. Mm -hmm. Rosemary, what did you think of RuPaul's look this week? I didn't care for it. I don't know if it was my monitor or what, but it came off as orange. Um, I, I guess it, it was supposed to be pink. I don't know, but uh, my TV screen, it came off orange, and I just didn't like it at all. I like the hair. I like the Asian theme, but I just didn't care for the gown at all. The gown, to me, I mean, it came out orange on mine as well, so it's not your monitor. Mm -hmm. To me, she looked like a dream sickle. <laughs> you know that ice cream bar? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> she looked like a dream sickle. I wasn't a big fan of the hair. Um, the gown was a standard RuPaul gown. I don't like that color on her because it it's too close to her skin tone. Mm -hmm. You know, and with this harsh lighting that they're using on her, I don't know what it is this year with this lighting, but it was blurred out again, and I had a hard time, you know, seeing the difference between her skin tone and the dress itself. So. Not one of my favorites, but not one of the most, uh, well, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that. <laughs> hashtag butt fucking ugly. Um, no, it wasn't hashtag butt fucking ugly, but it, it wasn't one of my favorites. But when she came out, I thought she looked like a dream sick. Lickable and delicious. Let's just leave it at that, okay? <laughs> So, off to the runway we go. The first runway challenge was Kitty BFF Realness. And first up, we had Violet. Rosemary, what did you think of Violet? Well, I really thought, no, not you, Rosemary, the real Rosemary. <laughs> But I wanted my 15 minutes of fame, too. <laughs> well, you're just going to have to wait. Let's go talk to the real Rosemary, okay? See if she, what oh she thinks God. first. <laughs> now, get your hair out of your eyes, girl. Well, I, okay, I, it's Rosemary, like I'm looking, what, <laughs> it's like I'm what, looking in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I got my girls up tonight, too. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk to the real Rosemary. You go over there and sit down for a while. Oh, okay, but stop showing my backside. Oh, I ain't got nothing on back there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hold on, everybody. Bye, Rosemary. Bye, everybody. Have fun. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't resist when they did the puppet challenge. I had oh to make one of you. I... <laughs> Anyways, she's gone. Let's start with the kitty BFF realness. Violet was first. What'd you think of Violet? I liked Violet's outfit. I thought it was very cute. She's very talented. Violet is extremely talented. Um, I can see that she's going to get far even after um, RuPaul's Drag Race. I liked it. I liked the outfit. Yeah, I, I liked it too. It was cute. You know, it was in the Hello Kitty vein, you know. Mm -hmm. So it worked. Um, next up was Ginger, who came out as like the Hello Kitty cow. I thought it was funny that they were having problems with the fly on the cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a different time of the show, but still, I thought it was funny. Anyways, what did you think of Ginger's cow? <laughs> I, I wasn't crazy about it. I wasn't crazy about it. She didn't make it look pretty. I mean, I can, you know, I can see her making the cow, but I think mm -hmm. that uh, I lost it in the makeup part. It wasn't attractive at all. It wasn't good to look at. Yeah. Next up was Pearl as kind of like the Madonna kitty. I loved it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love that. I'd be BFF with that one. <laughs> she got me with that one. <laughs> I thought it was cute too, but I didn't think it would fit in the Hello Kitty. I, I don't know if, if I had a little girl, if I'd be wanting her to play with a Hello Kitty <laughs> dressed in, you know, that. Uh, <laughs> so, That's no, true. <laughs> that, that, as far as being branded as a Hello Kitty item, I don't think that worked very well. <laughs> <laughs> Next up was Katya in her Russian Hello Kitty. What did you think about this one? <laughs> well, just like the other one, you said you don't think that, you know, little girl would want to play with that one. I don't think a little girl would want to play with this one either. <laughs> Maybe a little girl that lived somewhere in Tennessee in a trailer park or something because this one oh. came out smoking cigarettes. and <laughs> Katya's one of a kind. She's one of a kind. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And did you notice the teeth were yellow, too? <laughs> Oh, she cracked me up. I and mean, she was funny, but again, I don't think it would fit into the Hello Kitty brand, you know, <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and last but not least, we had Kennedy the Streetwalker. I mean, Kennedy as Kitty. What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> you were right the first time, Kennedy as a Streetwalker. I, I, I know where she was going with it, but, you know, it's not Hello Kitty by any stretch of the imagination, you know. Yeah. So I, I didn't like it at all. So out of all of them, who do you think did the best job as far as branding, which was, was the challenge, you know, to create a new character to fit into the Hello Kitty world? I think Violet Chachki was the, the closest one. I agree. I mean, I, I still don't think it's a true Hello, Hello Kitty, you know, type of a character, but it was the uh -huh. closest one. Right. I agree. Uh, Ginger would have been next in line, but I agree. Violet, you know, won the challenge of branding there so mm -hmm. yay well let's move on to the second runway look this one was called hello kitty eleganza and up first again we had miss violet thoughts i liked it i thought it was beautiful but i didn't see a hello kitty in that at all i saw something like futuristic uh i mean it was a beautiful like a barbie doll i didn't see a hello kitty in there anywhere. Well, along her neckline in that she had Hello Kitty accessories, which you really couldn't see real real well on the TV. Mm -hmm. So she had Hello Kitty accessories, you know, around the hoop, around her head, and all that. So it was Yeah, I, I, I saw that. I saw that. But still, you know, the whole um, Art Deco-ish type of design just didn't strike me as... Uh, it was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It was gorgeous. But it just didn't strike me as a Hello Kitty type of look. Well, to me, the challenge was Hello Kitty Couture, where they were supposed to make a couture outfit that represents them using the Hello Kitty accessories and materials. Mm -hmm. So to me, that was Violet. You know, she was representing right. herself using the Hello Kitty accessories. And I have to tell you, I loved the part from the hip down and all that, it, it gave her a great figure, a great hourglass figure. Because you know I've had a problem with Violet, you know, not padding and not, and you know, always having the boy body. This right. gave her, you know, a shape and I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing it on her. Mm -hmm. Next up we had Ginger. What'd you think of her? I like, you know, I like Ginger. I like her a lot. But I, I, like I said earlier, I think she's unraveling. I didn't care for the um, the makeup. Um, I didn't really care for the look that much. You know, I think she's missing something. I don't know if she's panicking because she kept, you know, mm -hmm. she kept mentioning at the workroom, oh, another, you know, design a challenge. Well, listen, that's what it's all about. You know, you have to be prepared. You know, for seven years or the past six years, that's what it's been about. Um, nothing's that's changed. True. Uh, so she should have prepared a little bit better. So I, you know, I feel bad for her because it was all right, you know, but it was nothing Hello Kitty-ish to me about it. Well, again, it was supposed to represent them with Hello mm -hmm. using the Hello Kitty materials and accessories. Um, I do want to make a point because this comes up quite a bit with Ginger saying she doesn't know how to sew and stressing out about all that. And again, you know, Ginger being in the pageant world and all that, she has all of her gowns and everything made for her. 
You right. know, these girls pay thousands of dollars for these gowns mm -hmm. and these pageants. So, you know, it's not surprising to me that she doesn't know how to sew, but it is surprising that she didn't learn how to sew before going on the freaking show. Seeing as you just said, you know, it's seven years now. Everybody knows you need to freaking sew on this show. That's right. So, but to me, the look, I've seen this before. I've seen Lady Gaga do it with Kermit the Frog. I've, you know, to me, she just took her pink dress and she just, you know, hot glued or sewed on all the Hello Kitties, <laughs> you know, all around her like a stole. So this exactly. is something I, I've seen before. It was nothing new for me. Nothing yeah. that really stood out at all. Mm -hmm. Next up was Pearl. What would you think of this one? I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was weird. You know, she had the Hello Kitty uh, hat and everything. But <laughs> I liked it. Uh, I, I liked, you know. <laughs> I knew when I saw it, I said, Xander's going to hate it. <laughs> I'm gagging over here. I'm sticking my finger in my mouth gagging. <laughs> What the fuck was that? She took a Hello Kitty head and stuck it on her head and wrapped a blanket around her and put a belt on it and called it a day. There you go. What the fuck? No, yeah. You were right in your thoughts that I was not going to like it because, honey, I did not like it at all. <laughs> Hello Kitty. Could buy pussy, yeah. Right. Could buy pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we had Katya. What'd you think? I liked Katya's look. I know the judges didn't care for it because it was a one, you know, a cat suit or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I know where she was going with it, and I loved it. I, I love her face. I love the whole body, you know, thing. I liked it. <laughs> I guess I'm weird. <laughs> I did too. I, when the judges started critiquing, I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? She looks amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, she looks totally different. And, you know, she was stressing out so much in that workroom about what I she was going to do. And then she walked out and then I was like, girl, what the hell were you freaking out about? You look amazing. I loved it. Yeah. So, screw those judges. Mm -hmm. Anyways, next up and last but not least, we had Kennedy. What'd you think? I didn't like it. You know, I know it's her, it's her look, but it, I, we've seen it before. We've seen that look before on her. We've seen it on, uh, on uh, what's Jayden? it? Jayden. Yeah, on Jayden. So it, it, there was nothing interesting about it. I thought when she came down, like, when the hell did they bring Jayden Dior Fierce back? <laughs> Now, all she did was she took a black leotard and glued a bunch of bows and rows down it and called it a day. Like, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I agree. <laughs> really? Put a little more fucking effort into it. I mean, jeez. <laughs> the winner of the challenge ended up being Violet. Do you agree or disagree? I agree. I agree. She was absolutely stunning. Everything that she does, you know, she was perfection this week. She couldn't mess up. And you know what? She's really coming into her own because she felt confident. She said, you know, in the workroom, you know, I feel like I got this. And she was right. She had it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was uh, the winner myself when, when she came out in her Hello Kitty and then judged against the others. And then she came out in her Hello Kitty Eleganza against mm -hmm. the others are like Psh, it's hers nobody else you know has got this next to her yeah you know yeah. combine these two so yeah the win was justified it really was yeah and you're talking about her in the workroom you know and Katya had brought it up to her which was a really funny scene when Katya said that you know there's one thing that I really admire about you and Violet goes my beauty and then Katya <laughs> hits her and says no it's that big hairy mole on your back and yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it ended up what Katya uh, admires about her was Violet's confidence. Yes. And, you know, and Violet said, you know, drag is all about having confidence. And mm -hmm. she's right. You know, she's you right. have to have a lot of confidence to do this. Yeah. So, and even if you don't have justified. it, 
And even if you don't have the confidence, you have to act like you do. You know, you can't mm. keep saying, well, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. You know, you can't show that fear because it does show up when you're on the runway. And the judges right. see that. Now, at the beginning of the season, her confidence was coming out as arrogance. But that could have been just the way they were editing things. But this week, I didn't see that confidence as being arrogance. I saw it as she was sure of herself. She knew what she's going to do. And she did it. Mm -hmm. You know, she had a vision and she executed it and she won. She deserved that win. So, yeah, yeah that was a good win. Now, the bottom two ended up being Katya and Kennedy. Do you agree with this bottom two? No, I thought it should have been Kennedy and Ginger. I thought really? Ginger missed the mark. Yeah, I thought Ginger missed the mark this uh, this week. You know, with the cow okay. thing, you know, and then the the eleganza. I didn't think, I thought Katya's eleganza was a lot better than uh, Ginger's. So I thought it should have mm -hmm. been Kennedy and Ginger. Well, I'll agree with you on the Kennedy part, but I don't agree with you on the Ginger part. I would have put Pearl there. I think uh, Pearl's Kitty BFF, her branding, uh -huh. You know, coming out in a two-piece madonna S type thing. There's no way that would ever be branded or marketed with Hello Kitty. So she missed that mark. Yeah. And coming out, you know, for her uh, Hello Kitty Eleganza or Couture, wrapping a blanket around you and putting a head on your head did not work for me in any way, <laughs> shape, or form at all. So I think it should have been Pearl and Kennedy. But... Doesn't matter what we fucking think because it's Rue's show, so... That's right. <laughs> Rue put right. Katya and Kennedy there. Um, Katya ended up sashaying away after the lip sync. What do you think about this lip sync and uh, Katya going home? Well, if, if, the, if the rule hadn't been broken, if there were no rule, let's put it that way, if there were no rule, then... Okay, stop, Ka Rosemary. Everybody, yeah. in case you're wondering what Rosemary's talking about right now, back when Mimi I'm First got off of the stage, Rue set in motion a new rule. And the rule is, and I quote RuPaul herself when I say, we set into motion that no queen shall walk off that stage. And what Rosemary's talking about is the fact that Kennedy jumped off that stage and she broke a rule right then and there. So go ahead, Rosemary. Okay, so had that rule um, not been in place, then I would say Kennedy won it hands down because she gave a phenomenal performance. But the fact that she did break that rule and she got off the stage, she should have been disqualified right at that moment. Okay, so well. So do, do I, well, that, since there is, you know, we can't, I mean, I would say it should have, Katya, <clears throat> Katya should not have gone home because, well, if we're just basing on lip syncing, then Kennedy should have won. Because I thought Katya just uh, was weak in the lip syncing. Well, rule, breaking the rule aside, because I believe that Kennedy should have been sent home immediately when she jumped off that stage. Mm -hmm. The same way that Willem was sent home when she broke a rule, Kennedy should have been sent home immediately as well. But she wasn't. Um, right. Based on the lip sync, I totally disagree with you. I thought that Kennedy looked like she was having convulsions on stage most of the time. She was doing a circus gymnastic act. To me, um, she was not performing. Um... She didn't, if you watch it back again, you will watch and see that she didn't even know the words half the time. Where Katya, her lip sync was more intricate. She knew the words and she even knew the backing words and was lip syncing to those as well. You know, with her movements and her mouth. She was completing the entire song. Kennedy, if I want to see that shit, I'll go to a fucking circus or to a gymnast, you know, <laughs> routine. Because, like I said, it looked like she was having convulsions, like she was having seizures. I don't think she deserved it, even with the lip sync alone. I think Kennedy should have gone home, period. When they when uh, Rue sent Kaya home, I basically looked at my television, put up my middle finger, and said, Fuck you, Rue. I was pissed. It was just, no, she should not have gone home. 
that's my thoughts, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh, you're right. I don't agree that Katya should have gone home. I, I, I think that if you're looking at talent itself, just the raw talent, Katya has it way over Kennedy. Way over Kennedy. Oh, definitely. You know. Definitely. And to all of you out there, yes, I am well aware that the Internet is going insane over uh, them keeping Kennedy, knowing that the rule was broken. Because ever since that show aired, that's all I've seen all over Twitter, all over Facebook, all over everywhere, is Kennedy should have gone home based on that rule being broken. But my word to you is, is what I just said a few minutes ago, it's RuPaul's show. What can we do other than complain? But... That's not going to get us anywhere. She's fucking Mother Rue. She's the queen. It's her show. That's right. Her name. <laughs> oh, well. Kaya, you should have got home. I love you so much. <laughs> Anyways, I'll get over it. Somebody get me a fucking vodka quick. <laughs> Put it in my kitty bowl. <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk about one other thing about... Now, at the end of the show, Miss Katya, you know, she did her little goodbye speech. Rosemary, by any chance, did you happen to notice that when she picked up her statue of RuPaul, she stuck it up and smelled its ass, and then it went, ooh. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I didn't oh see that. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. Oh, my gosh. I about to die. <laughs> I missed she it. left me laughing all the way to the end. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> This is my favorite part of the show, as you all know. It's time for Drag Cat and Drag Rat. Drag Cat is where they're all perfect. And Drag Rat is where, well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. That's where they need to take the moldy cheese and go out by the motherfucking dumpster. <laughs> First up, Drag Cat. Rosemary, who is your Drag Cat this week? This week, my Drag Cat is Violet Chachki. I thought she nailed it in, in everything that she did this week. She was absolutely beautiful on the runway. She was stunning. She's got my vote. She's my drag cat this week. Well, I hate to do this to you, Rosemary, but I totally agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Violet on both runways, uh, she met the challenges. She just met them. So, yeah, she was my wow moment this week. So Violet is my drag cat as well. Now, who needs to go eat the cheese out by the dumpster? Who is your drag rat for the week? My drag rat for the week is Kennedy Davenport. I, ju I just think she missed the mark this week. And then that whole thing with jumping off the stage and, you know, breaking rules. Sorry. Mm -hmm. She's my rat this week. Well, my rat is Pearl. I didn't think her branding of her Hello Kitty BFF was uh, age appropriate. I think she missed the mark on it. And again, that runway, the couture, a blanket, and a cat hat. No. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. She's my rat. <laughs> Well, Rosemary, we're down to four. So who have you got for your top three going for the crown? In other words, who do you think's going home next week, and who do you think is going to stay? Well, I think, well, my top three <laughs> are uh -huh. Pearl. <laughs> I love my Not Pearl. after this week. I Ooh. love my Pearl. I'm keeping my Pearl on that list. Uh, Violet Chachki and Ginger. Okay. So in other words, you'd love to see Kennedy go home next week. <laughs> yeah. By process of elimination. <laughs> <laughs> you and everybody else from what I see <laughs> out there. <laughs> well, my top three are only two. <laughs> I see you didn't major in math either. <laughs> uh, I've got Ginger and Violet because I've loved watching Violet grow, you know. That was the thing I loved the most about Miss Fame was watching her grow, but Violet's grown also, and I love seeing it. And Ginger, you know, I'm a big Ginger fan. Um, I would put my one of the other two into the top three, but 
I am not a fan of either one of these, Pearl or Kennedy. But if I had to choose, I would put Pearl because I like her more than I like Kennedy. Or should I say I like Kennedy less than I like Pearl? I... <laughs> Pearl gets it sometimes. You know, and out of these four, I'll put Pearl up there. Kennedy has not gotten it since that very first episode when she walked into that workroom for the very first time. When she walked in, I was like, fuck you, girl, you are unbelievable. That is a queen. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, she's just fallen off the roller coaster for me completely. Yeah. yeah. Um, Pearl, she's had her ups and her downs. I mean, her thing with Trixie Mattel when they did the twin things, that was great. Yeah. You know, so if I had to choose between the two, I'll put Pearl up there. But if I really have to choose between any of them, I'll just choose Violet and, and Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody, thank you again for joining us for another episode of Drag Chat. Do us a favor, leave us some comments. Tell us what you thought about, you know, the bottom two this week. Did you agree? Did you agree with Katya being sent home? Even though I know most of you didn't. But let us know what you thought. Do you agree with our predictions for the crowd? Do you agree with our thoughts on the bottom two and the winners? Did you agree with the runway looks? Did you agree with what RuPaul wore this week? What did you think? We want to know. Do you know why? Because we why? like you. We just want to know what you think. <laughs> so until next week, you do us both a favor. You have a great week. You have a lot of fun. And you get home safe. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Drag Chat. Follow us on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking below.